Cammy, what are five things you take with you on a desert? <laughs> I take my phone. I'm not taking you, Kate. I take my dog, <laughs> Benji Boo. No, go away. I take my mom, food, and water. What's your favorite memory from cheer? Um, sneaking onto the bus sophomore year with our state to a football game. Miranda, how do you feel about this being your last home game? It's kind of bittersweet. I don't think it's hit me yet. Do you hope we go to playoffs? Yes. <laughs> Hey Kate. Hi. How do you feel about this possibly being the last home game of your senior year? <laughs> I I kind of feel like I'm not sad at all. I'm really not. I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of not excited. I don't know. I'm feeling good. Do you hope we go to playoffs? Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, my favorite cheer memory is last year on the bus when we would go to all of the away games. Um, instead of playing bad music, because we're not allowed to, we would scream Jojo Siwa in my request, and that was my favorite memory. I it's loved it. Memory. It was really windy, <laughs> and we were holding the flags, and I flew, like I was holding a rope, and I went, like for real, like my feet. She's came off lying. The no, that I'm never not. happened. What's your favorite yeah. memory from any football game? Oh. Oh, okay. The <laughs> board game this year, <laughs> me, Audrey, uh, who else was it? Kendall, I think. Cam Jam. Cam Jam. We're all talking, minding our own business. The oh football God. players are running out. We forget <laughs> to go tumble. Funniest stuff I remember. What was your favorite memory from cheer? Um, my favorite memory is probably my first varsity ever. <laughs> was your okay, favorite part of drum line? <laughs> what? Was your favorite part of the drum line? Um, oh, yeah. That's the best part, honestly. <laughs> Being the first robot to win homecoming queen. Honestly, kind of shocked because like mascots are kind of lame. Not gonna lie. I'm just saying. Hey, don't. Hey, are you trying to add someone? No. The last one. She added herself. She like, I added myself. So, Katie, you're a senior this year. Yes. How do you feel about this possibly being the last home football game? I'm a bit sad because it's senior year and we're never going to do this like ever again. It's kind of sad because I'm an emotional person, but I'm excited. I hope everyone wears maroon. Like, it would be cool. I don't know. I'm just excited because it's a memory. Okay, Sam. What was your favorite year of cheer and how? what was your favorite memory from that year? My favorite year <laughs> of cheer was sophomore year because I was on varsity and I made a lot of great friends and sorry Flex and yeah they keep up with me and I feel like I was their baby sister so. Leah, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Hopefully uh, successful or graduated from college. Um, what, what, what do you want your job to be? I want to help uh, kids with their speech. Like, on camera, Katie. If you were stranded on a desert island, what five things would you take and why? I would take... My phone, because the island I would get stranded on have Wi-Fi. I just my phone. Anyways, my phone. I would take like my own Taco Bell with like its own employees and everything, because you know me, I gotta have Taco Bell. I would take like a life-size like amount of Coke. That's three. Yeah, fourth one. Oh, I would take my charger. Okay, I gotta think of one more thing. I would take extra clothes. That's kind of lame, but you can't be dirty. What weird habit do you have? I go like this a lot. So I've done it since elementary school. Do you know the reason why? Uh, no. Don't. It's just, I, I've always done it. <laughs> Reese, if you were stranded on a desert island, what are five things you would take with you? I would take my dog, some Legos, some water, some clothes, and probably like basketball or something to play with. Okay, Maddie, who would you take on a road trip? I would take Audrey, my cousin Kayla, my friend Claire Marignano, and my friend Ariana Katasius, and probably Katie, because, you know, they're my best friends. Like, who would I have fun? Oh, and I would take my boy Alex Coatney. 
Yes. Have to have him on road. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? In 10 years, I see myself as a pediatric psychiatric nurse. Hey, Audrey. Hey. What's one thing that happened in cheer that the coaches don't know about? Okay, so freshman year, when me and Alex were benched, um, or it was sophomore year. That no, was sophomore got, year. Sophomore year, we both got benched for like the whole basketball season. And <laughs> Garza would be sitting with us grading her students' papers, and all the cheerleaders would like spin around or like sit down and do circles, and Garza would never know. And it was super fun. Leah, what's your favorite memory from cheer? Um, probably the Laporte game last year because it was home and it was my first time experiencing one on varsity and we won really good, so <laughs> yeah. Who would you take on a road trip and why? <laughs> I would take my best friend Madison and Julian because they're my favorites. Saranda, who would you take on a road trip and why? Uh, like anybody or like friends from us high school? Anybody. Uh, Actually, no, someone you know. Okay, someone. Uh, Brianna Nieto. Uh, she just got adopted, so it's not all of yours. Um, but she's my best friend, and she's really good music taste. And we're just, we have that, we vibe together really well. <laughs> Would you take anyone from cheer? Becca or Leah, my favorite people ever. Yes. Kenzie, what is something that happened in cheer that the coaches don't know about? Um, one time I prayed really, really hard for rain. That way it wouldn't, I wouldn't have to get in the mascot suit, but, and it rained, but then I had to get it in it anyway because it stopped raining, so I was kind of upset. Reese, where do you see yourself in 10 years? In 10 years, I see myself hopefully in a really big house with like a dog, probably a lot of dogs, just straight chilling, maybe by some mountains, I think that'd be nice. Biba, what is one thing that happened that the coaches don't know about? Uh, freshman year, I snuck out of my hotel room to go get Lexi Smith a pizza that she ordered at like 12 a.m. What's your favorite memory from cheer? Um, cheering on the sidelines with my favorite robot. <laughs> Sam, what is one thing that happened that the coaches don't know about? Um, freshman year, Garza told us we had to jump after every single cheer and we would never jump. We would just all like take turns spinning around and not actually cheering and jumping. <laughs> What's your favorite memory from cheer? My favorite memory from cheer is probably just all of freshman year because we were such great friends and we had a lot of fun doing a lot of weird and crazy things. Questions. Do you have a hidden talent? No. Oh, my hidden talent is that I can get into a furry, nasty suit and not pass out. It's a great talent. Yeah. Hey, Audrey. Okay. What's your favorite memory from cheer? Uh, probably either winning NCA or probably freshman year with like Lexi. Nancy, Kalu, Alex, all on the team, and having Garza for two years. Where's my survivors at? Yes. <laughs> what is one thing you want to say to the seniors who are leaving? Seniors. Okay. Live lessons. Know how to wash your clothes. Okay. Do the dishes. Clean up after yourself. Organize yourself. Get a calendar. Mama can't help you anymore. Okay. Mama's not here to hold your hand. But most importantly, have fun. This is where you start the rest of your life. So have fun, but don't get too crazy. Okay, so I know I haven't been with y'all since freshman year, but all 18 of you, I love you, and y'all have made the past three years so much fun, and I will miss all of you. Miss Garza. Yes? Knowing that girls you've known and coached for four years now are leaving, how do you feel? I'm very sad, but sad and excited that y'all are going for a new future. What's your favorite memory with us as a freshman in JVT? I, I, there are too many to say. I love that y'all laughed and had so much fun and were crazy together.